eBuddy is an inventory management system and where that actually takes place is over on the girl orders tab and we can take a look at the bottom line down here under difference at any point in time this number indicates the amount of product that you should have left that you haven't allocated to the girls um, and this is what you would expect to be sitting in your living room. So ideally, if you've been keeping up on your um, your eBuddy entries throughout the entire season, every time girls either pick up cookies or return cookies or turn in money, um, this should accurately reflect um, the inventory that you have left over. So uh, in this case, I do not have 1,500 boxes sitting in my living room. Uh, so it's time to go ahead and start uh, updating the information with the receipt books. So what we want to do is we're going to be working with Marilee. Since she doesn't have anything, we're going to start from scratch. We select a girl's name. And for the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a transaction. We can enter whatever notes we want um, down here. If it's just cookies out or money in or um, maybe you have the receipt number because you've been tracking your M3 receipts chronologically. Whatever system works best for you um, is totally fine. But we do recommend that you enter some sort of notes um, to help keep track of things if we ever have to go back and look at the receipts uh, to verify the information in eBuddy. If there's some sort of description, it works really, really well. So I'm going to look at the fact that we checked out some cookies to Marilee on the 25th and we gave her 100 boxes. Go ahead and click OK. Anytime that you enter a transaction, uh, you will need to click save and it tells you that it's updated. And let's go ahead and take a look back at the summary really quick just so you can see what's happening. Now if you recall when we first started we had 1561 boxes and now that we've moved 100 boxes to Merrily, that number has now reduced to uh, 1461. We're going to go back into Marilee's record. So here we are a little bit later and she's checking out more cookies and she's turning in money. So we can do that by adding just a payment. If, um, if she's not taking any additional cookies, she's only turning in money. So maybe on 130, she has money that she turned in and she brought us $400 say OK and it now takes her balance due down to a hundred. Adding a transaction maybe on 131 she came back and she let us know that she needed another 50 boxes but she turned in an additional hundred dollars so you can see how these two um, it, you can enter multiple things on one line and we are now um, at a total of 150 boxes and she's paid a total of five hundred dollars leaving a balance of 250. If we have OTMs, so when she turns in her money, she happens to let us know that $20 of that was for um, OTMs. So on 2-2, she's getting credit for four OTMs. Like I said, $20 of the maybe 100 that she's turning in that day go towards uh, the OTM portion, which then those OTMs get added to her box total, to her money due total, and of course the $100 comes off of the, the total that is, is owed by the parent there. Any sort of edits or transactions uh, that are entered, you'll notice that they're all green until you hit save. Everything's been updated and now those lines are white, meaning that you can return to the summary view or you can um, move to a different girl. The last part about this is in the event that the girl is returning some boxes to the troop, you can go ahead and add a return. And maybe she's bringing 10 boxes back. And just enter those as a negative number. 
and we see that it took 10 boxes away from her and it also reduced $50 off of the total balance due. Go ahead and hit save again and move on. We can return to the summary view if we want to just look at what's been happening overall with the cookies or if we know that we are ready to move to another girl we can do so by just toggling between the girls in the drop down menu. So one of the things I want to show you is on Deborah's record. Deborah had a lot of um, digital cookie transactions. All of hers were girl delivery and she started the season having 96 boxes checked out to her. She owed a total of $480. All of these digital cookie transactions for either um, in hand, which were paid by the mobile app, or girl delivery, these payments have been credited uh, to the troop on her behalf. So she actually does not owe the full $480 anymore. She only owes um, she actually owes 400 and um, it's the $480 for the original 96 boxes and then these two OTMs that came with this uh, DOC delivery plus um, transaction ending in 203. This particular transaction, she received $50. $10 of it was OTM and the other 40 was for physical boxes that were delivered out of the stock that she already had, which is why each of these transactions doesn't have boxes assigned to them. The system doesn't know whether or not um, she already had those boxes that she'd received from her TCM or whether or not um, she was going to need to get additional product. And if she had needed additional product, then as the TCM, I would just be entering um, a transaction to check out additional boxes to her, the same as I would um, at any other with any other girl. And let's see. If we take a look at Gloria, Gloria has... Um, boxes out to her. She had her 100 boxes out at the beginning of the season, but she also received a large donation, uh, a 20 OTM donation, and that came in um, directly listed as a donation with uh, the boxes credited in the OTM category and the payment. Uh, that deposit is also listed on the deposits tab. And she also um, had a shipped order ending in 5367, which is also included on the deposits tab. It's also included on the transactions tab, but because it's showing as a covered transfer, that 10 boxes were transferred into the troop. So the troop now gets credit for them on, um, on as far as proceeds go. And now they are assigned here to the girl, so she is getting credit for those 10 boxes that were shipped and also the payment associated to them. We're going to go ahead and return to the summary view, and we will continue um, allocating cookies to the girls per the information on the M3 receipts that we have. And what we are trying to do is get this number down as close to zero as possible. However, um, it is it, there is a chance that it might not be zero. Uh, if you do have cookies left over, that would most likely be reflected as a negative number.